Hey guys, it's Friday, and it's Body Bags. It's Matt from You and Your Horror Movies. Week 102, still random reviews, which is pretty awesome. Uh, this week I picked a film I just watched recently for the very first time, and really wasn't a fan of this one. It's a slasher from 1982 called Trick or Treats. Not familiar with the Trick or Treat anthology or the one with the... Uh, Killer Rock and Roll. This is actually a slasher, I think, from 82. It's got David Carradine, who's only in it for about five minutes. Uh, Steve Rails back. He's in it for a little bit, back and forth. And so is Carrie. Oh, it's Nagras. This actually takes place in, in her house, which is pretty neat. Carrie's house. All right. Pretty much the synopsis of this is Carrie Snagras' character hates her husband and decides to commit him to an insane asylum, which was kind of funny because when they showed up at the house to take him, they fought at a pool. They're like, oh, someone's going in the pool. Yep, they do. So they kidnap him. Well, they didn't kidnap him, but she commits him to an insane asylum. So now she can go out and marry John Carradine's character. Three or four years later, they show him in the insane asylum, and he's starting to go a little crazy. He wants to get out and get his revenge on his wife. Well... Slowly but surely, he tries to escape and finally escapes. Meanwhile, back at the house, a agency, a um, babysitting agent agency, hires this beautiful blonde woman. Uh, her name is Linda, and that's played by Jacqueline Grooks, and she's pretty hot. <laughs> she is uh, on the pay order to to babysit this little annoying child. Now this child does all these tricks on her. Really bad tricks, you know, laying in the pool, face down, pretends to drown. She goes out to save him, and of course he kisses her, and he's like, haha. Uh, there's like, he's a, um, wants to be a magician, so his room is filled with all these different magic tricks. Especially one with a uh, toy guillotine, which is a real guillotine, but, uh, he plays all these nasty tricks on her and drives her freaking crazy. Meanwhile, the parents go out to a party. And after the, when they go to a party, you never see them again. You only hear from them once in a while. They do a phone call. So pretty much this movie is just a long, drawn-out story of her getting tormented by this annoying kid. And the husband trying to escape the asylum. When he escapes, he just uh, knocks off the nurse, steals her outfit, and he's walking around... I want to say town in drag. It looks awful, and I don't know how he's passing as a woman. There's scenes where he meets up with a drunk and steals his alcohol. He goes up to a bunch of bums and uh, steals one of the bums' clothes. <laughs> All right. Overall, with this film, if you're a slasher fan, if you want to see this, go ahead. I highly don't recommend it. It was boring. Uh... But if you're a diehard slasher fan and you want to get this in your collection, definitely buy it. It is put up by Code Red. Uh, the transfer quality wasn't bad. But as a slasher film itself, the guy only kills one person. And then the killer gets killed. That's it. And it's just long and drawn out. It just gets kind of boring. I, was, I found myself doing other shit while trying to watch this movie, waiting for it to end. And when they get the killer, it's... Very cliche, very, you see the weapon, you're like, oh, they're going to use that to kill him probably, and guess what they do. And it was just stupid, like, when the, the killer gets to the house, he thinks the babysitter is his wife, even though completely different looks, he, she's a lot older, this girl's a lot younger, when he grabs her and looks at her, you think, hmm, that's not my wife. Yeah, I highly recommend that, like I said, not picking this up if you want to buy a movie just because. But if you're a diehard slasher fan, like, uh, slashers are my number three genre to go for. And I've been trying to collect them. I got it. I, this will probably just sit on the shelf, unfortunately. But I love having it for my collection. And like I said, like, you know, John Carradine is in it for five, ten minutes in the beginning. And that's it. You don't see John Carradine at all. John Rail, uh, Steve Railsback is in it. He's in a uh, play. He's back and forth talking to her on the phone. And that's it. You don't see him doing anything. It's just pretty much the annoying kid. And her getting tormented, and then the the escaped psychopath trying to get home. That's it. 
and he kills one girl. And he goes, oh, God, it was an accident. <laughs> yeah. It's supposed to be like a horror comedy, too. I could see some comedy to it. It did make me chuckle a little bit. But again, for me, it's a pass. I would probably give this a 3 out of 10. That's giving it a, a strong 3. All right, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Check out the rest of uh, everyone else's videos. Have yourself a good one. Later. Peace.